Hello, welcome to Jyojit Spotlight. In the near term, the market is likely to get support from global queues. As explained many times uh, through my video and audio messages, economic trends in the mother market US have a huge influence in determining market trends in all other markets including ours. The latest consumer survey in the US indicate that the US economy is slowing down. From the stock market perspective, this is good news. The Fed has been trying to slow down the economy through rate hikes and uh, this policy is producing results. If the US jobs data expected this Friday also confirms this slowdown, that means the Fed will pause its rate hikes. Consequently, bond yields will decline and the dollar index also will decline. Already there are indications of this happening. This is favorable for capital flows to emerging markets like India and therefore good for stock markets. Dollar index declining is good for gold. A major emerging concern is the poor monsoon this year. There is huge deficiency in monsoon rains in August. This can uh, impact the kharif crop. If uh, the growth expected this year uh, in GDP, I am talking about GDP growth, if that also is low, then corporate earnings also will be impacted. And uh, disturbingly, food inflation will remain high. So unless the mar- monsoon uh, revives, things may turn bad. So watch out for the monsoon trends. Financials continue to be the most favored sector. High quality large cap banks should be an integral part of any portfolio. This sector is doing well and valuations are fair. Capital goods will remain strong even after impressive appreciation in stock prices. Companies in the luxury segment like jewelry, hotels and expensive vehicles will continue to do well. In view of the poor monsoon so far and the potential for elevated inflation, investors may think of adding sectors from stocks, uh, stocks from sectors that will not be impacted by high inflation and high interest rates. Pharmaceuticals and export-oriented companies will be a safe bet.